Yo, YouTube, we back with another video, man. So today we are doing a Q and A. I just randomly like picked that out for like a topic to do. Um, I got other videos coming, but I just thought this was like the quickest way for y'all to uh, get to know me, ask any other questions y'all never got to ask me before. So um, yeah, before we get into that, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let's go. First question is, what inspired you to start a clothing brand and one fashion tip that you tell your older self? So, um, a lot of people don't know this, but I think it was like the second time I went to Atlanta and I had met up with Mike and he just uh, put me on game. He was like, you know, you have a lot of followers, like they've already messed with like what you wear and how you style it. So why not start a clothing brand? So that's what I did. It took me like a couple months to actually get it into like fruition or whatever. Um, it took like a lot of planning, uh, a lot of design making samples and stuff like that. It took me a minute to come up with my name, uh, like my brand name too, but um, yeah. So shout out to Mike. Um, we'll see how far I can get in this next year going into 2023. Um, but yeah, I'm forever grateful for Mike, man. He really put me in like a position to uh, be confident, just, you know, make pieces as we call it, man. So we're going to start selling them like hotcakes soon, but yeah, y'all go, y'all go show Mike some love. Cause he gonna, he made, uh, empire, man. But anyways, um, the next one isn't really a question. Um, one said I've been fucking with the fits lately ganger. Appreciate you, man. So I've been styling a lot of fits and if y'all don't know, bro, if you can't come up with a fit, man, download Pixar and uh what is it go to the freestyle right and then you just like screenshot different pictures off the internet and um i put mine in photo room so it just clears out the background and stuff like that um but yeah clear out the background go back to pixar freestyle it and then just uh whatever you got like shirt jacket pants or shoes like them like outfit grids that people be making that's what I do to like make up a fit. Cause most of the time I don't have the pieces in hand anyway. So I just go ahead and order them. And then I just do my fits like that. Um, how'd you get started in fashion? So funny story, my younger brother got me started in fashion. Um, I think it started with like the first pair of Jordan nines that he ever like bought. Um, and I, I ended up liking them a lot. And I always asked him to wear his shoes and stuff. Like I still do it sometimes, but, um, yeah, my, my younger brother, he got me started in fashion. Um, cause I used to wear Chucks, uh, Heelys. Now mind you, bro, Heelys are still a vibe. I'm going to wear them. I promise you. I just don't know where to get them. But, um, yeah, my younger brother got me started. Um, he may or may not agree with this, but. I, I'm the I'm the uh, best dressed in the family, so y'all go tap into my brother's page and y'all go tell me what y'all think. But um, the next one is your top influencers. Uh, that's a hard one, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, top influencers. So besides myself, I'm gonna go Bloody Osiris. Um, SGA isn't really an influencer because he's a hooper, but I'll I, I'll pick him up as one of the top influencers. Um, and I'm gonna have to go a little sleazy, man. Like it's undisputed, like it's just what it is. Like he can, you know, he can dress, man. Um, all right, the next one, are you gonna sell some of your clothes to make room for new ones? <laughs> Bruh, y'all ask me this in my DMs, in my comments. Where did I get this from? Where did I get that from? What cargoes am I wearing? And the answer is yes. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna sell my clothes, um, but most of my pieces are like actual pieces that I will keep forever. But like most of the stuff that I get like brand wise um, from like other brands or just like what I get for gifts for free, um, I will be giving those away. I think I'm gonna download like Poshmark or something like that. Um, but if y'all want me to give away clothes more often, just let me know in the comments and I might be able to make that happen for y'all. Cause I do have like a lot of stuff that I don't wear at all. Um, but yeah, I'll make sure to do that for y'all, but my good pieces are not going nowhere. I'm just letting y'all know. All right. All right. Next one. Who inspired your style? So 
I don't like everybody says they just like find outfits like in their closet or what they already have. Mo some people that's cap, but me, um, I find inspo through like my friends, like my friend group, um, SGA of course, um, some of my friends from Atlanta, like uh, my boy Nick. He's probably like one of my like go to when I try to bag or when I try to style like baggier clothes stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's like a surplus of people, man. But like my top five or my top three, uh, my friend group. So it's like six six of us in there. Um, SGA, Nick, and yeah, I think I'm gonna think I'm gonna set it at those two like or those three specifically. Um, Best spots to get clothes in general, mainly your pants. All right, so this guy spoiled it. I'm gonna be making a, um, like my best pants collection or whatever in the next video. Um, so y'all want to tune into that one because I'm tired of y'all asking where do I get my cargoes at? I'm giving out all the sauce in the next video. So make sure y'all comment, subscribe, and like the video. So you can stay updated when I drop that. Cause when I tell y'all, I'm only telling y'all cause y'all my boys. I'm only telling y'all. So make sure y'all turn the uh, post notifications bell on so y'all can stay updated. Um, let me see. Favorite shoe. Okay. So if y'all don't know, my favorite grail in my collection is probably these, the Off-White Fives. Um, I picked these because like I went through so much to get them and they're just probably, they're probably like at least top five off white to ever drop, bro, because the shoes are so versatile. They go with everything. And I mean, I got them for a steal. Like I didn't have a box for my shattered backboard 2.0s. So I went to a sneaker shop sold them those and then i added like 300 dollars, and i've had them since so i had them for like probably like two or three years now but they're not leaving my closet mike is probably gonna be in the comments asking me when i'm gonna sell my pair it's not happening but yeah those are my favorite pair of shoes in my collection um outside of my collection like what i don't have uh i'm gonna probably go my my all-time grills the red octobers or just any like nike yeezy um, but yeah, those are my all-time grills. I wish I could get them, but I don't have 20,000. So, but yeah, y'all run up my subscribers and I might, I might pop out with them one time. I don't know, but that's up to y'all. Y'all got to help me out and I'm gonna help y'all out. So I don't know, but yeah, those are my favorite shoes. Um, let me see. Okay. What's your job? You're my inspiration. All right. So first, before I get into the, like my job and stuff, thank you. I appreciate y'all support. It means the world to me. Without y'all, I wouldn't be able to, like, well, I would be able to make content, but, like, I wouldn't be able to, to like, keep up with it consistently. Um, and, yeah, I wouldn't have as much confidence, I think, without y'all because y'all, you know, interact with me, comment on my videos and my pictures. So I thank y'all for that. Um, but my job. So I am a college student. Like, I... I don't scam, I don't flip shoes, I don't do any of the other stuff that, you know, I just pop up with like racks, right? Like, it's crazy. Cause people just be thinking I just get unlimited money from somewhere I don't even know. But anyways, um, I'm a college student. I work at, uh, I work part-time at Amazon. Uh, me and my dad work together. We got like our own like uh, yard business. So like we do like landscaping and stuff like that. Um, and I work at my school. So I just have like three part-time jobs and then that funds like my brand, like what I got on now, my shoe collection and all the clothes I got. So yeah. All right. Least favorite thing about being a brand owner. So I've only been, I'm just getting started, bro. But like so far the most like annoying thing or like least favorite thing is probably waiting for samples and not even well not even that but coming up with designs like the design process is crazy 
I remember I was coming up with like a tapestry design um, just because my friends told me to think of one. Um, shout out Heavyweight, but I was working on a design for like three months, bro, and I just could not think of anything. But I did see like a lot of people did spaz with their own tapestries. Like I saw a free, S free YSL one. Um, I saw like a thug one with um, it's like jewels around his face from his album Pink, I think. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna drop it right here. But that was probably the hardest tapestry besides like my friends, Club 60, Shamar, um, Crew, Shamar and Crew, Jason and Abnormal. That was probably like the hardest one that I've seen outside of like my friend group. But yeah, those are probably my least favorite things. Two of them is waiting for samples and just coming up with designs. Um, if you weren't doing social media or having a brand, what would you be doing? Um, that's a good one. I, I mean, I'd probably be in school, like like what I'm doing now. I probably wouldn't be doing nothing too crazy. Like, I'd probably be doing YouTube or something like that. Well, that's social media. But yeah, I'd just be in school. Um, I wish I could be playing sports, but I like I quit track like two years ago when I was in undergrad. But yeah, I'm gonna get into that because somebody else asked a question about like what sport. But yeah, I'd just be doing like um, sports, school, and work like just regular work. Um, what's your favorite sport if you play any sports? All right, so um, all my, like mainly all my life I played basketball, I did uh, baseball, um, and I did soccer like when I was really young. But uh, my main sports in high school and then undergrad I did basketball, high school basketball, and then I did track. And then in college, I ran D1 track and field, but that did not work out so well. Um, it just didn't work, bro. Like, I, I didn't like it. Um, I spent most of my time just sitting on the sidelines because I was always getting injured, bro. I'm, I'm getting old, bro. But, um, yeah, those are my favorite sports that I would like to play or, yeah, like to play. Um, if I didn't play a sport, though, like, if one sport I would play with football but my dad thought I would get folded because I'm so skinny but I would have been a dog at DB man I'm just saying because I, I can lock stuff up bro but anyways um inspo bro that's such a broad question bro anyways uh inspo um probably it would, I would probably just say the same thing as like my fashion inspo like um SGA uh sleazy and my guys, um, shout out heavyweight. Um, and also myself, because I mean, I like styling different things and I just wanted to like test the limits, um, see what like baggy clothes look on me, skinny clothes. Uh, but I've, I've been in my oversized, oversized arc lately. Um, I probably could have went a size up in this, like my brand hoodie, but um, I like to be cozy, comfortable. Um, but yeah, those are like my main just inspos off the rip. Um, okay, so the next question is somebody asked where to get the best graphic hoodies and, or graphic t-shirts or something like that. Um, if you're into vintage t-shirts, I would go to Mag Street Vintage. Um, not a lot of his t-shirts are over like $50 max, um, but most of them range around like 20, 25, but he does give out steals where the t-shirts are like $10 maybe five dollars don't quote me on that but they are very affordable um but like the actual graphic t-shirts or hoodies uh check out my boy stax world and his secondary brand blueberry grounds um blueberry grounds is probably like more sports related and then um stax world is like the actual graphic tees and like actually creative um, I don't have any of them like on me or in my closet right now, but he does have the best graphic t-shirts that I started with and I still have them or I'll still, I'll, that's still like my go-to. Um, but yeah, those are like one of the few brands that actually like get into the graphic design for both the hoodies and sweatshirts and they are very affordable. His hoodies, I don't... They probably go for like fifty dollars max, maybe a little bit under. But all his t-shirts, all his t-shirts have been mainly twenty to twenty-five dollars. So go check him out. I might, I'll probably leave his link in the description below. But yeah, 
check his brain out first. Okay, and the last question that I got, uh, top three brand designers, or top three designer brands and top three underground brands. Okay, so off rip, Louis Vuitton is my favorite like designer brand ever. Um, off white, shout out Virgil. He's one of my like inspos like in this like fashion world and just uh, like brand whatever you want to call it. Like he can do everything, bro. Um, what is one more? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say gallery department. Yeah, I definitely started. Um, looking at gallery department and just their quality of clothes and designs of clothes. Um, they had these like one, what was it? They had these one shorts and they had the, um, like the gallery emblem, like all right here. And it was patched with paint all over it. And it was, uh, it was like camo shorts, but that's probably one of my favorite pieces from their brand. Um, but my favorite underground brands, um, I'm gonna say, of course, I'm gonna go with mine. I'm gonna go with Common Society off rip just because I have that much confidence that I'm gonna be up there with the rest of the underground brands who got like 30K, 50K, whatever. Like, that's where I wanna be at. But um, outside of my brand, um, I'm gonna go, go GV Gallery for sure. I got so many other pieces, bro. It don't make no sense. Like, I spent endless money with. GV Gallery just because the pieces high quality comfy oversized like it's kind of like perfect for my aesthetic like what I like to go for um let me see I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with Billionaire Studios he's been doing his little thing getting to like all the the big influencers um I got some of like his unreleased pieces um but yeah he definitely shows love man he helped me out a few times with like just my brand in general um I mean, like, I probably hung out with him, like, twice, but it was just, like, you know, short chop-ups or whatever, so, but, like, he's really, like, influential with, like, how I want to, you know, scale my business and how I want my clothes to look, like, I want everybody in it, I want, like, all the influencers, all the ladies, what, like, he, like, he got, he got it all, but, like, he got everybody from Atlanta wearing it, so that's just one, um, I think that's the second brand. Um, and then the last one, I'm gonna probably go, I'm gonna probably go, uh, I'm gonna probably go, I want to say no doubt. Yeah, I'm gonna go no doubt. Um, he was in my last video, um, but he has like the, kind of like the same vibe, like the oversized, um, aesthetic, like with hoodies, um, the t-shirts that he has, the sweatpants. Um, and he dropped, bro, he dropped so many different like hoodies or uh, not hoodies, but short shorts. Like he got his own style to those. He makes them and it, like you can see that like he picks out the fabrics on his own. Um, everything's high quality. And uh, yeah, so those are my top three designer brands and top three underground brands. But that was the last question man i wish y'all would have asked me more i literally will answer anything that y'all have for me um if y'all have anything else make sure y'all drop it in the comments um y'all stay tuned for my second or my fourth video yeah we three videos in so my fourth video um that would be my pants collection because y'all always ask me where i get any of my pieces from even though i be tagging them bro y'all don't look when i tag people in their brands bro and I don't like that. So y'all gotta make sure, before y'all even ask, make sure I ain't tagging. Cause if I didn't, then I'll understand. But um, yeah, y'all make sure y'all tap into this video and share with a friend and then wait next week for my um, the video that I'm already talking about. So um, with that being said, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out.